Hello everyone, it's Chris and we're going to go on a neat little ride today and we're going to talk about something I did to my Can-Am Spider. So we're riding along the Niagara River. This is the very beginning of the Niagara River. This is the Peace Bridge which goes from Buffalo, New York to Fort Erie, Ontario and that is Lake Erie and we're going to ride along the Lake Erie waterfront on our way to Dunkirk. But this is the beginning of the Niagara River where it starts its journey to Niagara Falls and eventually Lake Ontario. I mentioned that I, I want to talk about something I did to my spider. I'm pretty excited about it. When you see it, you're going to think, oh, geez. But uh, I'm still excited about it. So I'm a minimalist, as you know, hence the, the name of the channel, Spider Minimalist. And so as a minimalist, I don't like to clutter up my house I don't like to clutter up my spider I don't want a ton of accessories on this thing uh, quite frankly I wrestled long and hard with the cup holder uh, I eventually caved and got one I'm actually wrestling with getting a GPS to mount on this uh, device here uh, I love my phone and I love my quad lock mount I've done a whole video on that but uh, I like the idea perhaps of having some redundancy for some of the longer distance trips I'm going to be doing, having redundancy with satellite GPS versus cellular dependent GPS. But anyway, uh, one of the things that I've been wrestling with getting that they sell on Sling Mods is a storage organizer for my rear trunk. And the reason why I've been wrestling with that is... So I keep my left and right saddlebags, uh, side cases, full. They're pretty much full and they're always locked and the only time I go into them, it's very infrequently. When I need rain gear or when I need something uh, like my tire compressor or whatnot in the other compartment in, in the right side case. But for the most part, those are locked. My trunk, my front trunk, it's not full, but it's nearly full. I keep a passenger helmet in there and some other things. Uh, so there's a little room in there, but not much. So now we're going to get onto the uh, Buffalo Skyway on our way to Dunkirk. This will take us right along Lake Erie. This is downtown Buffalo. I know some of you have seen this before on other videos, but uh, so anyway, I keep the trunk mostly full, but I keep my rear trunk empty. There's simply uh, a couple of grocery bags and a couple of bungee cords, and otherwise it's empty. So Buffalo has a, a ton of grain silos, like the one you see there. Those grain silos are from a day gone by when grain from the Midwest would be shipped in on Lake Erie and uh, stored in our grain silos. There's a ton of them. I don't want to stand up here because I don't want to flip over and kill myself. But uh, so there's Lake Erie right there. The Buffalo Skyway goes basically over downtown Buffalo. It's in the news now. Uh, there's There's been some talk of dismantling it or changing it from an actual uh, roadway to more of a pedestrian tourism type thing but uh but i but i got off topic as i sometimes do there's a law in new york state now where you actually have to pull over into the other lane when you see emergency responders uh or really i think anybody in the breakdown lane a couple of more major grain silos here so so anyway i keep the rear trunk uh empty and when I'm, let's say, riding the spider and I stop somewhere for lunch, which I'm going to do soon in Dunkirk, I put my helmet with the GoPro camera in the uh, top case. I mean, I mean, in the rear trunk. So I leave it mostly empty. I did a whole video on the front uh, glove box on what I keep in there. And because of some of the comments on that video, I stopped putting some of the things in there that I would prefer to have in there because they're easily accessible. Hand sanitizer. I use Neutrogena hand cream a lot to keep my hands, you know, not from cracking and, and other stuff. And I started to put that stuff in my rear, in my rear trunk. 
the problem was it was loose and kind of unorganized and I'd be lifting up my shopping bags trying to find a hand sanitizer and whatnot. So I thought, you know, that rear uh, trunk storage organizer would be a good thing for me to have. And I've been wrestling with this for a while. I don't, you know, take the purchase of new stuff lightly because I'm a minimalist and it's not a frugality thing. It's not the money. It's just, I do not want to add to my list of things that I, that I have. I mentioned that we're headed to Dunkirk for lunch. That is not the Dunkirk of World War II fame, obviously. That is the Dunkirk of, of Lake Erie, Western New York fame. I don't really know that it's famous, but uh, that's what we're going for lunch. So anyway, I finally make the decision to buy that rear, after careful consideration, the rear trunk organizer. And I was actually excited about it. Uh, that looks like a cool restaurant. I was actually excited about it. Lake Erie Waterfront. I go to the Sling Mods website, and we're now in the town of Hamburg. I went to the Sling Mods website and it was down. And I thought to myself, like, is God giving me some sort of message from above? Like, don't buy it, don't buy it. I went back again, it was down. And then I thought, I wonder if I can find that on Amazon. And I went on Amazon and the company that makes it has an Amazon store, I guess, and, and I found it. And on Amazon, they have comments that you can read. That's supposed to be a really nice place that you can read from people who bought it. And most of the comments were very favorable, but there was a couple, or at least one in particular, that said something about, like there was a fitment issue, it really doesn't fit well. And I thought, you know what? I'm not in a rush to buy this thing. I want to buy it, but I'm not in a rush to buy it. And then it hit me. Lake Erie. And so I just got through saying, as a minimalist, I don't like to keep things in the house. I don't like to buy new things. However, a while back, I bought a pair of pillowcases. And you're probably thinking, what does that have to do with anything? Well, the pillowcases came in a little pouch. It was a little cloth pouch. And it was kind of, I don't know, cute. And I thought, you know what? This doesn't take up any space. I might have a need for this pouch one day. I'm going to just put it in a storage bin. I don't have many storage bins. I've got two. And it takes up no space because literally it's, I mean, just envision, I don't know, a, it's about the size of a couple of, of a Kleenex. So imagine a Kleenex, like how much space that would take up if you put it in a storage uh, container. So I remember that I had that and I had an idea. So I went out and got it. I punched a hole in it and there are two screws in the back of the uh, rear uh, trunk organizer uh, in the rear trunk compartment that the organizer that Sling Mod sells attaches to. I poked a hole in, in this little pouch that I'm going to pull over and show you at some point soon and voila, I have a, a storage organizer. So there's a sign on the other side of that rotary. I don't know if you can see it, but high is a hawk dispensary. That's kind of interesting. I guess at least they're honest. They sell marijuana or whatever it is, CBD or whatever, and they name their business high as a hawk. So now we're heading over Cataraugus Creek. We've been over the creek before in, in a different county. So anyway, I screw the pillowcase pouch in and put some stuff in it and it like it's just perfect I love it and then I get to thinking what if I had a clear plastic pouch so I could see like small items inside of it and so I scoured the house for something that would work and I didn't really have anything and then it hit me I could use a Ziploc bag a simple Ziploc storage bag the small like lunch sandwich size uh Lake Erie again, a beautiful view of it there. Uh, a simple Ziploc bag. And I pulled out a Ziploc uh, bag from my kitchen drawer and they're, they're kind of like ribbed at the top. And I thought, you know what? I can punch a nail hole in this thing and I think it'll hold. And I did it, I tried it, and it. I, I put some small items in it. 
it, it's working. Now, when I show you this, which I'm going to show you imminently, some of you are going to poke holes in it and that's not going to work and this, that, and the other, or it looks tacky. And believe me, it does. If I bought that luggage organizer from Sling Mods, it would look infinitely better. I'm not sure it would be more functional. Uh, I, I don't know. You, you can be the judge when I pull over and show you, but I'm real excited about this. Uh, the cost to me was almost zero and if it fails like I, I don't lose out on anything i can always you know go buy that uh luggage organizer down the road if i feel a need to but i don't think i'm going to need to and so i'm going to pull up ahead uh, at the next available stop and show you what it looks like okay so we're basically in dunkirk i waited till i got here uh because i was kind of on a rural road with no decent sized shoulder um i'm gonna actually pull down here um, I know there's going to be a parking space, probably many of them. Oh, yeah, we're going to find a parking space right near the wharf or the pier. And I'm going to show you my homemade storage organizer. Now, please do not make fun of me. KLR, I think. I think we can just pull on here. I've done this before. So I don't know if you can see the personal watercraft out there. It may be a cousin of the spider, right? If it's a sea dew. So I'm gonna just pull right over here. And again, no making fun. Okay, it's the moment of truth. So there it is. So as you can see, this is just a little pouch that the uh, pillowcases came in. I keep some GoPro accessories in there. I keep my uh, quad lock iPhone uh, waterproof uh, case. And here I keep just a bunch of things. You can see Band-Aids, uh, chapstick, wet wipes, Kleenex, just things there. They're out of the way because it's on the rib of the Ziploc bag, I think it's going to hold for, quite frankly, a long time. And because this is on the rib, I don't know what, you, what sewing people call that, like, there, but uh, that's rock solid. It was hard for me to even get a hole through that. So I think that's going to work. And uh, I'm excited about it. So anyway, I'm going to sign off from the Dunkirk Pier. Uh, thanks for riding along with me. I sure do appreciate it. If you'd like this video, if you do like it, and if you'd subscribe to the channel, if you don't already do so, I sure would appreciate it. Thanks, and you have a great day. Bye-bye.